What is up everybody? Welcome back. This video is not something I originally planned on making, but I recently came across this piece of music from the soundtrack of Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Something I hadn't heard in a very long time and I think it's amazing. I particularly love the brass in this. So I just thought, you know, let's give it a go. So let's start by having a listen to the first section of the piece. And actually, before I do, I'm just going to mention as always that the files for this, the session you see me working on, are available on my Patreon alongside a lot of other projects as well. So here it goes. Okay, so a uh, super simple introduction is quite literally just an ostinato on cellos on a low B flat. Just by looking at the waveform, you can see that it kind of raises in dynamics a little bit. We have some accents as well on double basses and timpani. Right, so that's it for the beginning, quite straightforward. Let's have a listen to some more interesting stuff. So we quite clearly have the lead on the French horns. Um, and then they kind of harmonize each other. like this. So starting out with the ostinato, I'm just going to grab some of the parts that we had in the previous section and extend them. And what the violas I think are doing is something like this. It's quite hard to tell because they're very low in volume. And what we have on the bass is quite literally some accents every two bars. Cool, so let's do the horns. So I've spent a little bit of time tweaking the mock-up, making it sound a little bit better off camera. Um, let's carry on with the following section, the next four bars. Uh, this is incredible. I love the brass in this. Um, so let's figure out what's going on. So chord wise, I think we'll quite simply go from B flat at nine <coughs> to, you know, E flat major. Uh, there's a suspension actually, maybe. That's what I'm hearing. And of course we have these orchestral buildups that develops over um, these four bars. So let's carry on with the ostinato i think i think it goes to something like this instead so something simpler
Oh, I just noticed a mistake, yeah. Um, I had the double bass going to a very low E flat, but it's actually a B flat here. So yeah, I corrected that. I believe this should be about everything for this section. I'm not super sure. I don't think I'm hearing anything else. There may be some lower brass or something. Um, but I don't know. I think I want to move on to the following one. And if I notice something else, I may go back to this later. So uh, let's have a listen to, you know, the following section. Amazing. I love these brass. So um, harmonically, we should be doing something like this, I believe. I don't know if this is suspended or um, just a regular major chord. I'll have a listen to that for that later. And obviously with the orchestration, there's quite a bit uh, going on. So maybe let's start with something simple like the bass and, you know, the ostinato pattern that we had throughout the entire piece, which I don't think is going to stop here. Before we do any of that, I'm going to do something we haven't done before. I'm just going to record a little melody as a guide very quickly so I don't get confused because we have some you know meter changes later and i don't want to get confused so um here we go <laughs> something like that so um i'm just gonna go ahead and record the rest we said starting from the bass. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not super sure about these brass. I think I may, the, you know, the low trombones. I think I may be doing something else later. I don't think there is much else going on, actually, to be honest. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and do the trumpets and the French horns. <laughs> Okay, so that's the bulk of it. I'm not super sure what the rest of the strings should be doing. I think I'm hearing the violins doubling the trumpets on the second half of the section, so at the very end. But um, I'm not super sure. Um, I think though the woodwinds, at least at least some flutes, should be doubling the trumpets as well, and maybe having a harmony part as well, similarly to what we have on the French horn. So let's add those in. Uh, 
And something I'm super certain I've heard is Glockenspiel doubling the melody. So I'm just gonna play that in. You know what? Probably the violins are doubling the melody, so I'm just gonna do that. Yeah, I'm because I'm I'm not really hearing it, but I know the they would be there. So I'm just what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double the horns first time through and second time through, double the maybe the trumpets. I don't know. We'll see. Cool, so I'm happy. Yep, I'm just gonna add percussion and then that should be about everything. I don't really hear anything else. I might thicken up the orchestration of camera, maybe adding some more woodwinds because right now we only really have the flutes. What I'm probably gonna end up doing is, you know, adding a couple more doublings here and there, maybe bassoons, doubling the cellos or I don't know, something like that. But uh, that should be about everything. That's everything for today. We're gonna be playing the music in just a second. But before we do, I'm just gonna very quickly say that if you're interested in the files of me working on today, that is available on my Patreon. Additionally, if you're interested in learning more about composition in general, you can check out my course 20th Century Orchestral Writing I made in collaboration with Master the score. I hope you enjoyed the video, hit the like button if you did and subscribe if you're new, leave a comment below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.